Hi guys. And today I am back with another video. I'm going to do the rapid fire book tag. Um, anyway, I've forgotten the name of the original creator, but I'll put her name here somewhere and I'll leave her link in the description below. I guess the whole point of it is to just read the questions and then think of the answers as quickly as possible. Um, so I haven't really looked at the questions. I've watched a few tags, but I can't really remember all the questions. So let's just get into it. <laughs> okay, so the first question is ebook or physical book? I always get confused between the difference of ebook and audiobook. So an ebook is just like the actual pages on a book, but they're on a computer screen or like a, a Kindle or something. I think that's right. And if that's the case, then I'm definitely physical book. I can't actually say that I've ever read an ebook. They've just never appealed to me. I like having the book and being able to hold it and flip the pages. But I can see, to be fair, how it would be convenient. So I'm going with physical book. Paperback or hardback? I have to say, in terms of aesthetics, I love hardbacks. I love how they look. But then in terms of being realistic, I only actually ever buy hardbacks if they're a particularly beautiful cover because they're just so expensive. So I'm going to go with paperback, but to be fair, if I was like a billion trillionaire, I would probably own all hardcovers. <laughs> the next question is online or in-store shopping. Um, I'm going to say that most of my books have been bought in-store, but I think that's actually just because one, when I walk past a bookstore, I can't just walk past it, I have to go in. <laughs> and two, when I go in a bookstore, I rarely ever don't come out with a book. <laughs> so I'm going to say in-store buying. <laughs> the next one is trilogies or series. I'm going to say series. I, just thinking about all the, you know, stories that I love with multiple books, I think that they're pretty much all series or most of them are series. The next one is heroes or villains. Uh, my brother and I were actually just talking about this the other day. We were talking about it in a movie sense though. Um, so we were saying how when we watch Marvel movies, we definitely connect a lot more to the heroes. But when we're looking at the DC universe or like the Batman universe more specifically, I think the villains are really, really cool. But I think in books, I always tend to connect with the heroes. I think that's because in books, it's all up to your imagination. So what comes out in through the reading process and what you picture is someone that you really connect with. Whereas in movies, it's all sort of there for you. So you have a little less control over who you connect with. A book that I want everyone to read, I'm just going to straight off the top, go and get it. <laughs> so I'm going to say the book that I would recommend everyone to read is, I'm sure you all know what this is going to be by now. It is Wonder by RJ Palacio. This is my favorite book. The characters are amazing. The message is so beautiful and powerful. I'm trying really hard not to say love because every time I go back and edit my videos, every second word is love or like, and it's driving me insane. <laughs> so we're just throwing those words out the window. <laughs> Very good book, read it. <laughs> the last book I finished. I'm 99% sure that the last book I finished is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. The last book I bought, I actually think I bought this book with the last book I read. Can't really remember. <laughs> but the last book I bought is Catwoman Soul Eater. And this, throwing back to the hardcover paperback debate, um, this is a book that I would say was deserving of spending $30 on. <laughs> for the hardcover um with the dust jacket on it's freaking stunning and it's like plain black and then it has a cute little purple cat oh mate it's just so pretty so i had to get it in the cover i really like it but this is the last book that i bought the weirdest thing that i use as a bookmark um everyone's probably gonna hate me but firstly i'm one of those people that folds the pages i'd barely ever I don't ever borrow books. I buy all my books and own them all. So they're mine. I don't really see the problem in it. I'd never do it to someone else's books. And I annotate and write and sticky note a lot of my books anyway. So they're already damaged. Um, and it's just, it's what I do. Don't hate. 
but also if I do use a bookmark it's usually not a bookmark I pretty much always either fold the pages or I'll use like a piece of jewelry or something so I tend to use this necklace quite a lot it's just like a locket anyway it's just a locket um, but it fits really nicely in the books and I can see it hanging out the bottom and it's just really convenient and it doesn't take up much room so I use necklaces as bookmarks. Used books, yes or no? Um, I prefer buying my own books. It's just a personal thing. I'm very like, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't like using a lot of other people's things. Um, <laughs> so I just prefer to buy my own. Top three favorite genres. So obviously YA, contemporary, and I don't really know if this is a specific genre, but I really like, either gruesome fairy tales, like the Grimm stories, or adaptations on fairy tales where you can sort of see the little, like Cinder, where you can see the little bits of the fairy tale come through, but they're like different. So I don't know if that's a genre, but I really like those stories as well. <laughs> Borrow or buy. Like I was saying before, I buy all my books. I rarely, I don't really borrow from friends and I don't really borrow from the library. So I buy all my books. Characters or plot. I I think both pretty important to the whole story. That's, you know, kind of the point of a story of the characters and the plot. <laughs> um, if I have to choose one, I feel like even if you have a really good plot, if you don't like the characters, you're not going to really care about what they're doing. If you have good characters that aren't, you know, necessarily doing that much inciting, you kind of still want to hear about them if you connect to the characters. So I'm going with characters. <laughs> Long or short books? I'm going with medium can I do that um I don't know I have a fairly short attention span so I feel like if a book's too long I'll just be like all right I want to move on to my next book <laughs> come on <laughs> but if a book's too short I'll be like oh I want to know more I'm going with medium in the middle not too long but not too short long or short chapters I'm going with short chapters it makes me feel so much more productive if I'm reading a book and it's taking forever to get through a chapter I'm like chapter one 10 hours later Chapter two, 20 hours later. Chapter three, then I'm like, oh, freaking out, what have I been doing with my life? But if I'm, it's short chapters and I'm like, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, then I'm like, wow, I am such a good reader when in reality it's taken me 10 hours to read 10 pages, but I've got through four chapters. <laughs> Name the first three books I think of. Raven Boys, Harry Potter. <coughs> Why can I only think of two books? I literally can't think of any books. I'm trying really hard not to look at my bookshelf. Cinder. There you go. That was a task and a half. Books that made me laugh or cry. The Raven Boys, I cried in The Raven King at the end. Wonder, I cried in Wonder. And, oh, that book by Jojo Moyes, the one with the short stories, um, Paris for One. I cried in some of the stories in that. Our world or fictional worlds, I mean, is that really, is that even a question? Like, fictional. Hey guys, sorry, my phone went flat. So hopefully this isn't too much of a jump from how I had it before. Um, but I can't remember if I did this question or not. So it is audiobooks, yes or no. Um, I, as you may know from my last video, I think I actually just started listening to audiobooks. I listened to my first one week or a couple of weeks ago I can't remember but I actually really enjoyed it I don't get me wrong I definitely think there's a time and a place I love listening to audiobooks while I'm trying to do other stuff and just if I want to read more than one book or get something a book done or something like that I love listening to it on audiobook because I can sort of just do it while I'm doing normal everyday stuff around the house or something like that um, so I uh, I don't see anything wrong with audiobooks and I actually enjoy them for certain things. <laughs> do I ever judge a book by the cover? Yes, literally all the time. People get paid to do the cover art, so I'm going to judge whether I like it or not. <laughs> it's, what it, it's what it's there for. <laughs> Otherwise, they would just write the title of the book and the author. To be honest, sometimes if I don't like the, if I want a book and I don't like the cover art, I won't buy it. I'll wait or I'll try and find another cover. <laughs> book to movie or book to TV adaptations? I assume book to TV, it's book to series, like what they did with Shadowhunters. Um, I'm gonna say book to movie because, here's what I'm thinking. 
I already know everything that happens, so I don't really need to drag it out over 10 seasons. Um, I've already read the book, usually, in most cases. I just want to see the character, I just want to see it acted out, so I don't really want to wait, you know, 25 billion episodes for them to do something I already know is going to happen. <laughs> so I'm definitely movie. A movie or TV shows that you preferred to the book? Um... I can't really think of, oh, mm, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I did like Ish the books, um, The Maze Runner. I mean, really, you can't beat that, what's his name? I don't even know his name. The guy, the runner guy in The Maze Runner. You just can't imagine someone like him up, so. Um, series or standalones? Mm, I'm gonna say it depends on how much I like the book. <laughs> Um, no, but if I'm really satisfied with the ending, then I'm fine with the standalone. I'm like, yeah, that wraps it up good. Don't really want to know anything else. But if I really connect to the characters, I just want to know more about them. I, I guess series because then you get to live with them a bit longer. Okay, so that is it for today, guys. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be a super quick video by the time I edit out all my likes and loves. Um, <laughs> but... Hopefully you still enjoy it anyway, and I will see you very soon. Bye.